What's up guys, Kyle here from Animus Ecology. I'm here with the Toronto Mycology Society today and we're foraging at Sarkley Hill near Guelph, Ontario. So uh, we're gonna find some amazing mushrooms in this forest. So let's get to it. First mushroom find of the day, unidentified little mushroom that we're gonna try to identify. You know the no. There's plenty of them. Found a beautiful wetland here, climbed a hill and boom, a little piece of paradise. That is growing in the moss. Moss is prime habitat for mushrooms. And these guys are really cool, almost like translucent like calves. Really interesting. We got Dryad Saddle. Dryads are Greek tree nymphs or tree spirits. And as legend goes, they would ride these things. So these are a spring mushroom. You see now they're pretty decayed. But they are edible, but not in this stage. In the spring they're quite nice if you find them fresh only. Here we have what looks to be honey mushrooms and a cluster over here as well. Very interesting mushrooms here. So I think the world's oldest mushroom is a honey mushroom. These guys are really interesting. And they're interconnected in these underground networks throughout the whole forest often. So a very interesting mushroom that uh, facilitates the regenerative process of recycling organic life in nature. Some of the most interesting mushrooms will grow in elf dens like this. So down the rabbit hole here, you'll find some very interesting mushrooms inside here. See over there. Interesting kind of mushroom growing there. So yeah, look for elves and fairies too. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna find in the forest. Here we have found the mother load, oyster mushrooms. A medicinal mushroom that is very cool. See underneath? Oh, wow, isn't that amazing? Those gills fanning out. Incredible mushroom this is. Highly researched, highly medicinal, highly delicious, highly regenerative to the ecosystem as well. And they're growing in a giant cluster in here. Here we have the beautiful Carolinian forest here, soon to be changing colors to many different colors of the rainbow, but mostly yellow and orange, and a little bit of red, the sugar maples. Really amazing ecosystem here, the Carolinian forest. And here we have my favorite mushroom in the forest. Not these guys, this guy. Lion's mane. Looks like a wizard's beard because that's what it is. A wizard-like mushroom that massively can increase neurogenesis in your brain, which is interconnection of neurons and birth of new neurons and improves your memory, your ability to learn, um, your mood. And I take it in the winter as medicine. Um, very important in Canada where we have long, cold, and dark winters. So it's like a waterfall-like beard wizard-like fungus. Um, there's a few other funguses very similar. They're also medicinal. Uh, bear's head tooth, there's different names and different cultures for it. But this is one of the most magical mushrooms in the world. Um, very amazing mushroom. And this is a beautiful orange fungi. I love it going underneath these caps here. Look at this, amazing. I, in fact, I found it the other day. I'm going to frame it because it was like 20 years ago. <laughs> Beautiful wetland here. At the end, we collect the mushrooms. That's the crazy. What's that noise? This is for sure a Portinarius. Oh, this is. Which is what you thought. Yeah, so you see, you see, it, you see this, this tissue? That is a cortina, and the spores are, are rusty red. This one almost looks like it had done, 
as Cortina Brown Gills. But if he was throwing on, on Buri, it's not a Cortina. So this is for sure. This is a Yoris. This was in the ground. But it might have been fun. This is a toxic one that is eaten mistakenly by this one. Isn't that a bluet? Yes, it's a bluet. Here's the hole. 